My name is Gavin Evans and this is my ranking of the MonsterVerse movies from worst to best. And this video will have spoilers, so there's your warning. But anyways, I kinda really hate this franchise. Um, it might be my least favorite cinematic universe out there. Just nothing about these movies work for me. They're bland, they're generic, and... Yeah, let's just get on with my ranking, beginning with the worst one, and it's Kong Scar Island. Now, I want to begin by saying that I love the 2005 King Kong. I think that movie is just fantastic. Great performances, especially from Jack Black. Uh, great relationships, it's well made, it's thrilling, it's tense, it's weird, it's just fantastic. And this movie is just none of those things. This movie is as bland and as generic as they come. There's not a single moment of this movie that stands out. It's all just forgettable nonsense. You've got yourself a really great cast here, like John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson, Tom Hiddleston, Brie Lawson, um, who else? John C. Wiley. Um, yeah, a bunch of great names. But no one is given anything to work with. They're all completely wasted. Um, there are some decent visuals, but it's still just a, a big old nothing movie. Just a movie that bored me while watching it, and I haven't thought about it since I did. So that's why it's the worst one of the bunch. The second worst one of the bunch is actually the brand new Godzilla and Kong The New Empire and look there are some decent aspects to this movie uh, there's one fight scene where Kong grabs a smaller monkey and hits a bunch of other monkeys with him I thought that was a great moment I think there's about 10 minutes of the finale that is pretty entertaining but man you have to deal with a lot of shit to get to that point like, the first hour and 15 minutes of this movie, just nothing happens. The daughter gets these psychic visions, and they're like, oh, we have to go here. Okay, why? We don't know, but we have to see why. And it just takes forever to find anything out, to get anything going. Like, it's just... A bunch of random scenes with no real connective tissue. And then you've got Godzilla who decides to become super powerful by becoming pink. And that's all he really does. But I, I never bought the threat in this movie. Like, it didn't feel like the world was in danger. It didn't feel like any other titan. It just felt like a generic villain. So... Why all this hustle behind this guy? Just, I didn't buy into any of that. Uh, the villain you don't see until the last act. Like, why would you not set him up sooner? Like, that is just a baffling decision to me. That by the time we get introduced by to him, the movie's almost wrapping up. Uh, the idea of uh, another Godzilla that shoots ice is a cool idea but once again it's not present until the very end of the movie um what else can i say um this lack of scale just the monsters should be huge and you don't really feel that uh and yeah i don't know i guess that's really it like it has a few moments here and there but i found this movie to be really boring it didn't really do anything for me um yeah just another forgettable movie the third worst movie of the bunch is Godzilla King of the Monsters. And I don't think this movie is good at all, but I will say there is some cool visuals here. The creature design is top notch. And I kind of like what they're trying to do with making it seem like the mom and daughter were kidnapped, but then surprise, she's actually the person in charge. That was a real cool subversion of expectations, but everything else in this movie just falls flat. 
I never cared about Kyle Chandler's character or Millie Bobby Brown's character and then the backstory with the son who died just none of that works for me and they get so much of the attention in this movie um I thought the action was rather lame to be honest it's never tense or thrilling it's just kind of there just a bunch of noise and yeah, lots of people were angry that I didn't like this movie, but I just don't find this movie to be fun. I think it's boring. It's awful. That's why it's the third worst movie of the bunch. Now we're on the top two, and these movies still both suck, but the second best one is the 2014 Godzilla. Now, what I will say is that Brian Cranston is legitimately great in this movie, I think the first 10 minutes where he loses his wife is the best part of this entire franchise. It's the only part of this franchise to have any emotion. And I do like the visuals here. Gareth Edwards captures that sense of scale so perfectly. And I love it when they do the halo jump and the red smoke. Just really interesting stuff. But... It's still a really bad, boring, generic movie. I could not care less about Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, and you're stuck with him the entire time. It's just really bland, and it just feels like it takes itself way too seriously, which is why it works for some people, but I don't know. I, I just... Uh, I, I get no enjoyment from this movie. I think the way it cuts away from the action is a baffling choice. And there's some payoff at the end, but just not enough. So, honestly, I, I, I don't really care for this movie at all. Uh, some impressive elements, but still really bad. But let's get to the best movie of the bunch, which is still bad. But it's Godzilla vs. Kong. Now look, the first two acts of this movie... Suck. Like, there's a cool fight in the middle with Godzilla and Kong, but everything else with these characters is boring, is lifeless, is generic. None of it works for me. I could not care less about anything going on. But, when you get to the last act and Godzilla and King Kong are fighting in Hong Kong, and it's bright, it's colorful, it's got some interesting camera decisions, then... I am entertained. I think the fight scene is legitimately really well done, and it's the best action in this entire franchise. And then you introduce Mecha Godzilla, and you've got yourself some great action there, and it leaves you feeling satisfied with what you came to this movie for. Is it worth the previous 90 minutes of nonsense? No, it's not, and that's the issue with the movie, is that you have to deal with so much shit to get to anything good. And I don't plan on rewatching this movie again, but I do enjoy the last act. The last act is by far the most entertaining section of this entire franchise. So that's why Godzilla vs. Kong is the best one of the bunch. But what's your ranking of this franchise? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.